Hey, I'm Slicky Ricky T, and welcome to my channel, the ultimate destination for car and gaming enthusiasts alike. Led by myself, the host with the most, Slicky Ricky T, I'm, I'm fueled by both cars and video games, so this channel is going to merge the exhilaration of virtual racing and my real life driving experiences. Let's go. Today, I'm going to do a full review on this car, the Aventador SVJ. So, it's winnable in this playlist this month. You can you can earn this points and unlock it for free. That's why I'm showing you this. I unlocked it yesterday. And 80 points on the festival playlist. You run through these each week and this is the this is the car. You get it for free. So, how this is how you get your Aventador SVJ for free. You come right in here and every week you complete these little challenges and you you accumulate points. At the end of each week, you can cash these points in for cars. But there's a series of cars each month. There's two cars that you can accumulate a lot of points and cash in and earn. And today, this week, this month are the Ventura SVJ and the Ferrari 512 Testarossa. So here you go. Let's go and dig into this car. We we got it. Let's go hop in it. I already had one, but hey, a second one is awesome. So here we go. It's also worth quite a bit of money, I believe. We, we can take a look at that right now. So this video, we're going to give a full review inside, outside of this car. We're going to go ahead and tune this car. We're going to drive it. We're going to test it. We're going to race it. And we're going to see what we think. And we're also going to see what it's worth. So let's get in this car. Let's take a look at it inside and out. I want you guys to really immerse yourself in this vehicle. Immerse yourself in the channel. The, the beauty, the essence of this car. Look at this thing. Let's hear it. And the inside? Okay, now let's take a deeper look, you guys. I know that's what you guys want to see. So we're going to go here into the auto, the festival. And from here, you can go to garage. And look, if you click on Forza Vista, if you've never seen Forza Vista, you can hop into Forza Vista and get a better look at the car. You can even turn off the menu and walk around it every angle. Just like you can outside, but it's in this beautiful lighted environment, controlled environment. But the difference here is you could come up and hit X and open the doors. You know what? We can hop in. Let's let's hop right in the passenger seat. That's what it looks like sitting passenger in this car. Look, fire extinguisher at your feet. This is the look that you don't always get to see. Look at all the suede on the center console down on the bottom and on the dash. It's a beautiful interior. I like it. I like the red stripe on the seat, the door, everything. The dash, the red threads. Pretty cool. So then you can also, like, oops, oops, I didn't mean to leave there. You can also come open up the trunk. See, oh, this is, this is what happens if you have a Lamborghini. This is what it looks like in your trunk, the front trunk. Passenger, look at, this one won't let you open up and look at the motor, but the motor's right there. But we can hop in the driver's seat. And look, you can go ahead and hit the horn. You can go ahead and start her up. And we can go ahead and drive her out of here. So, now that I have this car, the first first things first. I mean, I'm sure this paint's very special, but I don't want to ride this orange Lamborghini around in orange. So what we're going to do first is we're going to paint this thing. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and paint this one. And I'm just going to throw a quick paint job on there. And I will save this for you guys if you like it. Um, I'm going to do something custom. I feel like something wild. Let's see. Ooh, I think I'm going to go purple. I kind of like the idea of purple. Let's find the right shade. I'm going to do something like this. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the hood purple and leave the mirrors. Leave everything. I will change the rims. Purple and gold sounds good to me. Let's put some gold rims on here. If you go into this little custom section, there's some gold down here. Okay. I can be shiny or I can do more like this. There we go. And brakes. You know what? We're going yellow because that's the new that's the new red. And there you have it. 
I don't even want tin. I want people to see me in this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I will save it to the, the catalog so you guys can try it out. And I will call this. Mic's not working. Got to do it again. Hold on. So this is, I got to do it twice. Sub to my YT. And we will share this as well. So it's there. If you guys do like this purple and the gold. I kind of got a Los Angeles Lakers basketball theme going. I'm from LA. So it's kind of the home team up here. It is the home team. Sub to my YT at Slicky Ricky T. Alright, so now this one is saved, you guys. So I have this livery saved. We're gonna jump right into this car and let's go ahead and um let's let's really check it out in depth. But now I'll enjoy it a little more. That's not orange. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that is a custom paint, it's what identifies it as an S SVJ, but it's okay. I didn't even apply it. So here we go. We'll handle that later, you guys. It's saved. It's there. I can change it at any time. Let's test this thing out real quick. When I go back to tune it, I'll apply it. This is it in its absolute stock form. So we'll run through the horsepower and all that in a minute. But it looks like we're getting on the actual telemetry. About 750 horses. A little more. So I'm watching the stats on the side. We're getting about, I saw 515 foot-pounds of torque. We're revving over 8,000, nine. This thing's a monster. This car really feels amazing, and the amazing things about this car is that there's some cool stuff that about this SVJ that I'm not sure if you guys all know. Like the fact that this car right here that I'm in holds the Nürburgring track production car record. It, it's the fastest car on Nürburgring right now as far as production, and that's amazing. And I believe it's actually something like, I mean, I'm a big fan of Nürburgring. I think they have a lap time of like under six minutes and 45 seconds or something. It's something really incredibly quick. And it's, it's an amazing car. And the, what makes this car so amazing is, first of all, it has one of, it has Lamborghini's most powerful V12 in it, the 6.5 liter V12. And that thing alone, I mean, it, it, ooh, it delivers a staggering, I believe it's 759 horsepower and about 530 or 31 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's amazing. This thing delivers stock. It's a 0 to 60 in just 2.8 seconds. And it has a top speed of over 217 miles per hour, which is awesome. And part of what makes this car so special, more than just a normal Aventador, is it's active. it has active aerodynamics. The aerody the, it's amazing. It moves. It, it's extensive. Um, it incorporates active air and uh, can't talk. It has a large rear wing that moves on its own. Um, all the arrow, let's look at this. All this arrow, watch. It's so orange right now, but watch. Get the speed going. See if we can see any of it moving. I don't really see it, but the arrow, that's the, actually, we gotta look in the front. Yeah, we don't see it moving, but this car has active aero. It has amazing suspension, and that's what makes it really, really, really special. And the fact that there was very limited production of this car. It's a limited, it's already a, like an exclusive rare model to begin with, the Lamborghinis. But this is the, the exclusivity is what made this so special. It produced a very restricted number of units on this car, and um, it made it made it a very very highly coveted car amongst car enthusiasts and collectors alike. So everyone wanted this car, and they still do. It feels okay. It feels great. But I already know what we can do. To this so we're gonna jump right into the garage and get it going. Let's get it moving. So what I like to call Slicky Ricky T's Customs is the garage where I can upgrade this and share this with you guys, so you guys can experience. The thrill of driving my tunes as well so with this car i'm gonna leave the stock motor in here i just want to go over everything with you and let's first of all first of all real quick since i'm over here in this area let's go ahead and apply like i didn't do the first time apply my design to this car now it's in its new new color 
we're completely building this car, um, customizing it, and making it a killer on the racetrack. We don't need any vinyls. We're going to go ahead and... I might change that shade of purple. I kind of like it, though. Um, upgrade and tune this. Custom upgrade, you guys. We are going to leave the stock motor, stock drivetrain in here, as long as it's rear-wheel drive. Let me see. Okay, I can't... Let's see. It's actually all-wheel drive. Oh. Okay, I'll leave it all wheel drive. This is an Aventador. It's meant to be that way. Um, we will. I'm going to tune this as an S1, you guys. We're going to make it a very competitive S1. And we're going to go ahead and put this... I'm just running through the arrow, seeing what our options are. I don't think I want to add any arrow to this car. If anything, let's just jump into the tires and check them out. The stock tires in here come with... They're basically semi-slicks, so we don't need to change them. It's the same thing. They're good tires. And as far as... Tire width and all that. Let's come back to it because the stock setup is pretty good. Let's see what we can do to differentiate this from a normal SVJ. Same thing. I don't think I need to change the transmission unless I am making any real power upgrades. No benefit there. So let's go here and see. Can we pull weight off? That's what I want to do. No, not quite. We can get a sport weight reduction, which is 229 pounds. Let's see what that does to the car. You know what? I like that. It saves almost a full half second. No, look at that. That's nice. It saves, not bad, about a quarter of a second off of 0 to 100 time. Just taking the weight off. And it's going to make the car perform better. It's going to make it handle better. We got more grip. It makes it brake better. Um, yeah, that's a win-win right there, I think. So let's take some weight off. We're not going to put a cage in this, I don't think. Let me see. No, definitely not. And we will put race front and rear anti-roll bars you know what let me look at the suspension real quick but i'm sure the stock suspension is just fine yeah it's already raced let's race out as we can get on that it's, i mean it's a special edition lamborghini i can't even touch the brakes these brakes are already crazy so literally there isn't much else i can do i have what two points three points so this upgrade is four points let's see here we go that's three points we can do the race fuel system and that Get this a little quicker. However, let me see here. Of course, we can't do that. I'm just looking. 5494. Mm. I like that one, but we're one point off. We might be able to pull that. Let's see. 5476. Nah, we want this, but it's a point. So, this racing block, we're going to throw on this race engine block at 24 more horsepower. But now we got to shave a point somewhere. So. Easiest way to do that is in the tires and rims. I kind of like the rims, leaving the sink stuck. Let's see if that definitely won't shave a point. I thought I was hoping we'd get one there. I'm probably going to have to change these rims to make this happen, you guys, but I think it's worth it. We put a little bit heavier rims, and we got a race engine block on it. And it sounds like a no-brainer to me. We lose the look a little bit, but not much. Look, these rims look very similar. Ooh, I like those, too, and we get an extra point to play. No, we want the weight difference. These are 18 pounds heavier, but we got we changed changed it for a race engine block. So let's see what that does. I think this is our build, you guys. I want to see if I can sneak anything else on this. Sometimes you can. Yes, yes, yes. Look at 8.2 more pounds off the car. So we added 18 pound rims, but we we're able to pull off eight pounds here. So it really is only 10 pounds more than we were, and we added a race engine block. And now that puts our acceleration a bit quicker than the average SVJ. And if we install this setup, this build, we're going to be quicker than most. Like we went down um, 208, 225 pounds, and we went up another 24 horsepower, and our grip has improved as well. And we only went up 11 points, so this is pretty good. And we're still in S1 class, and this is only 15,000 $15, credits. So now walking out of here, our car is built, it's painted, and now I just need to tune it real quick. And this didn't take long. I'll adjust the tires off of telemetry. I can't touch the gears. I like to bring the camber down a bit. That's some really aggressive camber, which is cool. But I'll just put my caster up a bit more to help with that. And this doesn't really need to be adjusted, but I do like to set it like that. And I roll bars. I'm going to have to fill that out. I need to drive this. Let's see. The car probably likes being higher. A lot of these cars do. 
We're going to raise it back up. Which is still low. Um, I'll play with that off of telemetry. And breaking force. I'll do a standard little adjustment here. Kind of what I do usually. Just and, oh, one second. I didn't get the rear differential. So that's an issue. Because that... Oh, hold on. I'm sleeping on it, you guys. Don't sleep on this. It didn't cost me any points. It cost me 2,250 credits. And it's worth it. I like to adjust my rear wheel drive differentials. But all wheel drive differentials usually always need tuning in my in my eyes so here's another little tip look right now I got five four five eight eighty one percent to the back and I like that all right we did leave the stock gearbox on here so there isn't much no gear tuning to be done um, I c actually, you know what? We can check that real quick. Let me see if I can even afford the sock gearbox. Uh, the sport. Because if we put sport on here, now we can adjust the final drive ratio. And look at now, we can get even quicker. And that's what I'm going to do. So now for an extra 1600 credits, I'm just nickel and diamond, you guys. We can actually do some gear tuning as well. I didn't think I was going to add any power to this car initially, so that's why I didn't change the gearbox. So the fine, the actual stock gear in here is pretty good gearing, but oops. Now we're playing with it. And what I'm doing here is I like to adjust for the zero to hundred speed because that's just more practical. Looking at the top speed in zero to sixty, it's just it's not the way to do it, you guys. Um, unless you're just doing freeway freeway runs. If you're just a, a highway run guy and you don't do anything competitive, no actual real racing or anything like that, then by all means, bump it up. Get go look for top speed. Um, unless you if you're trying to set records that kind of stuff but if you're doing anything practical or even even fast stuff like you know the I don't know uh, the Colossus or any of those you're gonna want handling so here we go I got it down to decent decent stats here I think it looks good we're gonna go ahead and save this up and look real quick actually let's just check out our stats but to see them good yeah I do we want we do want to come into the my tuning setup screen and you can see, oops, this isn't saved yet, but if we go into fine tuning and look at all the S1s, you'll be able to see, you could compare mine. Oops. Okay, there's no one is tuned. Oh no, there's S1s right here. Look at. Okay, mine so far, well, I haven't saved it. Let me save it. I was just trying to be quick with this. And we will share it. And we will compare it. And then we're gonna put this on the racetrack and see what we think. And you know, it's pretty much then I'll then I'll share the tune the tunes up so you guys can try it out yourself. That's the idea here. Get you guys on the track. Subscribe to my YouTube at Slicky Ricky T. Okay, now it's shared. Now we could compare. So all you got to do is go back into where I showed you. I'm going to walk you guys through this. You hit the start button. You go to the auto, the festival. And then from there, you can go to upgrades and tunes. And then you can say fine tune. And once you're in fine tune, which I'll show you fine tuning setups, there'll be suggested tunes. And if you're following me, my tunes should be here already. So that's great. But let me go ahead and show you my tuning setups. And I have the one now. And... I was quicker than that. It didn't save something because I was at 2.4. That's so I was like, hold on. One second. Back to custom tuning. I must not have saved it. Oh, no. I was looking at... Never mind. That is what I had. I was looking at the... 
to the hundred. Okay, this is better anyways. Okay. A little quicker. So now all I gotta do is do that again. One second. My bad. Save the setup because it's actually quicker now. Oh, wait, 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 is it? Oh no, that's the other one. See, I'm two six three two. This one is quicker now, so we're gonna overwrite that one. Sub my YT. <laughs> I love it. Oops. Oh well, this one's the SU super user my YT. Okay, and it's being shared. Here we go. It's all round, best for handling and subscribe to my YouTube at Slicky Ricky T. Can't type today, you guys. There you go. All right, now I know you guys are all eager to see this tune and feel it and drive it because this is gonna be a winning tune, you guys. Check it out. Even that's why I want to compare it because I already know. I already know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do. Check this out. When we go in here and compare it, I want you to look at a couple things. I want you to look at the p performance as well as the grip. The grip is very important here. So let's go ahead and look at this real quick my tuning setups I want to get rid of the one that's slower we're getting rid of this one right here there's no benefit to that one the other one just I did a little gear tune a little better okay here we go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and find two tuning setups we're gonna look at other s ones next to this s one that's why that wasn't coming up let's search that okay check it out the new s1 king huh well let's see he's slower than me he has Point one more top speed, but he's a little slower um, acceleration, and we got about the same grip. He weighs 300 pounds more than me with the same exact, perf you know, I think he's got s racing slicks on there, which I don't see it as being necessary. I think that I call that one a win on mine. Um, this one here, he's got a little more top speed. Now it's got a little more top speed, but less 0 to 60, a little more horsepower, a little more, a little more performance, but he's got less grip. On rally tires, I'm not a fan of rally tires. Um, if you go through here, I don't think we'll see a 130. Okay, let me see here. This one, okay, this one looks good. I like that one. 2613, 225.2. Okay, that one looks nice, but again, yeah, that one doesn't look bad at all. But we're gonna go ahead and try mine and see what this does. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this holds the road so nice. See, with handling like this, I don't need the highway to hit 200. We hit 200 on these little streets. It's country back roads. Oh yeah, this car feels great, you guys. The turn-in, the handling. Let's go ahead and look at some of the... Look at, I'm like, not really losing traction. It might break for a second and regains it all. Into, look at, this is usually a tough turn. I hit a little railing, but...
This car feels great, you guys. Look at this, we're taking a Vulcan sprint up the mountain. Kind of hard to see. I don't know, you guys. I'm loving this car so far. The way it's cornering, the way it's handling, the acceleration, the performance. It had me speechless for a second. I was just really into it. I don't think it's my fastest car up here, but it definitely is fun. This car's amazing. It's definitely worth the drive. And if you have this car and you don't have a tune like this on it, you're doing it all wrong. I can understand if you do need a highway tune, but keep this one for for some fun. I mean, if you really want to run around the map and stay out of the trees, this is the one. I just shared it. You guys saw how to get it. All you got to do is follow me. I hope you're already subscribed, following, on my, following me on Forza, Xbox, everything. So you'll, you'll get access to all my tunes and all my reviews and tips and tricks and all this stuff. So much more to come, you guys. This car feels pretty amazing. I really like it. Um, running it around the track's awesome, but let's just wrap this up real quick with a with one more quick thing. Let's just put this through the test real quick, through its paces, real fast before we end this video. Let's go ahead and come over here to the HMC racetrack. We're gonna come over here to the HMC racetrack. While you're at HMC, it's fun to just run the normal HMC, but I got something better. I have the HMC challenge over here. If you go into solo whatever you want to do but event lab creations and if you look over here there's a official a class challenge in the store we're going to do this one right here and i'm going to take this same oh no that's i have it as set as an a class i'm definitely not an a class i'm sorry you guys so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this on a normal solo and we're going to go hmc and we're going to run it through its paces and see how it places Again, I'm running this on a race now against AI drivers, not real racers, but they are all set to professional level, so they're, they're no joke. Um, no stability, no traction, no ABS, manual with clutch, and simulation steering. Let's go. See how this car stacks up with its peers, if it has any. Oh, yeah, a lot of braking there. Look, still a lot of braking. Why is he braking so much? I'm just on the gas. Ugh, let's get out of here. These AIs are wild. Look at more braking. He's trying to slow me down. He's the only one braking like that, too. Look. Let's get on the gas. Trying to take the inside here. Can turn nice. Look at this. That guy kept hitting me. Let's get past him. He keeps hitting me. If he does that on the next lap, I'm putting him off the bridge. I don't do that kind of stuff, but okay, we're leaving him.
Oh yeah, let's boogie. This car is nice. The, the turning, the cornering, the handling, the braking, everything. Look. Running through its gears and we're out. Oh yeah, so smooth, so nice. I didn't have to push it; just real smooth in this car. All right, let's see if we can get under a minute here. That was better than last time. It all comes down to this corner right here. Got two more hard turns before the end. Three turns in general. Nice and smooth. And we're out, you guys. The the entry, the corner entry is so nice on this. I can get a great corner exit most of the time. I wouldn't say great there, but it's, it's clean. Oh, I slowed down too much to break one minute there. Oh well. It was still fun. The car's great. It was awesome. There you have it. It easily got first place. I, I dig it. So... Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. Please check all my videos. Watch them. Um, watch my live. We're going live today. We're going to be playing with the subscribers. So come in and join us. Thanks for watching, you guys. Adios, amigos.